my recent review of the Xiaomi Mi 11, I mentioned that the MyUI system launcher for some reason doesn't support some applications in the widgets menu. This means that my usual method of creating custom icons for the system launcher, it doesn't work for my UI devices. So when using and reviewing the Mi 11, I had to go back to the drawing board to figure out a new way to create a custom home screen setup. Now for those wondering why I didn't just use a third party launcher, well, on my UI devices, not only do gestures get disabled as soon as you switch to a third party launcher, which I'm not a fan of, but even with three button navigation enabled, the experience is janky as hell. There's a lack of animations, the buttons sort of freeze as well. It's really not a nice alternative. So after nearly giving up on my UI as an Android skin altogether, I thought, why not try creating an entire home screen setup using KWGT? And so that's what I did. And after a bunch of tinkering around, here is the end result. An evolution over my previous home screen setup and I've actually really enjoyed the look of it. And so as promised, this video is a full step-by-step -step tutorial covering the exact process of setting this home screen up so that you can recreate it on your own phone. And even though this is being created using the My UI launcher, pretty much the exact same process can be repeated on any launcher, as long as it allows you to remove everything, including widgets for a fresh slate, <coughs> pixel launcher. So with that said, let's dive in and get this phone set up. All right, so starting with the stock MyUI launcher layout, and the first thing we've got to do is make sure our settings are correct. So if we long press our home screen and then tap on settings, we'll first make sure our home screen layout is set to four by six, and then we'll uncheck this option here that says fill cells of uninstalled apps. Then we'll tap on more, and if yours isn't already, let's head into the home screen menu and make sure our home screen is set to with app draw. I also like to disable app suggestions and set the scroll bar to A to Z, and I also disable place new apps on the home screen as well. All but the last of these options are not compulsory, they're just how I like to set up my app drawer. Okay, let's head back and we'll swipe down a bit, and again, not compulsory, but I like to set my recents to the horizontal view so that they match stock Android a little better. And I also like to disable the show suggestions option to clean up the recents page even further. All right, with that out of the way, let's head back to our home screen, and now we need to start clearing everything off. You can actually do this whilst in the edit view by just selecting each of the icons and then tapping remove, which shows off a really satisfying animation. We'll repeat that for our second page as well, tap to remove, then to remove the folders, we'll come out of the edit menu, long press and hold the folder icons and drag them up to where it says remove at the top. Do that for each of the folders and then we'll remove each of the default widgets using the same process as well. Finally, let's also remove each of the icons on our dock. Okay, so there's our blank home screen page and now we're ready to start building up our custom home screen. Firstly, we'll set the wallpaper and the one I've been digging lately is this one called Wall One from the Gladian Icons application. But to be honest, this setup works with just about any wallpaper. But we'll load this one in and then from there, we're gonna long press our home screen and open up the widgets menu. Scroll all the way down to the custom widget section and we're gonna start by dragging in a four by one widget to somewhere close to the bottom third of our page. Then we'll tap that to launch into KWGT. We'll navigate over to the Waffle KWGT pack and the widget I'm using here is called three. We'll tap on that one to load it in. Then we wanna remove a couple of the components to get this set up in the way that we want it. So we'll tap on this first stack group here, then we'll select this top stack group and delete it. Then we'll tap on the remaining stack group, select the top two shape layers and delete both of them. And that leaves us with just the components that we're after. We'll then swipe over to the layer page and here we'll set the scale to 80. Then we'll save that and come back home. Okay, let's long press our home screen again to go into the widgets page. We'll come all the way down to the KWGT section again and drag and drop in another four by one widget below the previous widget that we just created. Tap on that to head into KWGT. And this time we're not actually using a widget pack. We're creating our own widget from scratch. So we'll tap on create up here. And then this is where we'll start loading in all of our app icons. Now, before we do this, if you're looking to emulate my setup exactly, then make sure that you have both the drops icon pack and the Delta icon pack installed. But from there, we're gonna hit the plus icon up here, then tap on image, and then we'll tap that layer that's now loaded in, select pick image, and then we'll be taken into a file browser. From here, we'll navigate to the drops icon pack, and then I'm simply going to search for whatever icon I wanna place in first, which for this example is the Gmail app. 
I'll select that icon and boom, now it's loaded into our widget. All right, let's get that in the right position by coming over to the position tab. And this one needs to have an X offset of negative 200 and a Y offset of 40. Then we'll come over to the touch page, hit the plus button up here, then where it says none, then none again, and we'll select launch app. We'll tap the new drop down that appears and scroll down until we locate the Gmail app. Select that and then come back until we're at the original root layer here. Then what's really beneficial is selecting the image layer here, tapping the edit icon at the top and then renaming it so it matches the icon we've just set up. So in this case, Gmail. That way, anytime I need to come back in and make changes to this widget, it'll be super easy to do so rather than having to sift through a bunch of layers all with the name image. And so that's the process of setting up each of our app icons. We'll do one more together as a reference. So we'll tap the plus icon, then select the image option here. Then we'll tap that new image layer, select pick image and browse the drops icon pack. We'll search for our next app of choice, which in my case is the messages application and we'll select the icon that shows up. Then we'll navigate over to the position tab. And for this one, the position needs to be set to negative 100 for the X offset and plus 40 again for the Y offset. We'll go over to the touch page, select the plus icon, tap on none, then none again, then select launch app. We'll select the new drop down menu that shows up, scroll down to the messages app and select it. Then we'll come back to the root page, select this layer, tap the edit icon, rename it to messages, hit okay, and then hit save. And then from there, it's just a case of rinse and repeat. I'm not gonna show you the entire process for each and every icon, but I will show you each of their position properties to save you some time in the setup process. So for the rest of this bottom row, the Y offset will always be set to plus 40. And then for the X offset, the middle out will be set to zero. The next one along will be set to 100. And the last icon will be set to 200. Then for the row above, each of the icons will have a Y offset of negative 60 and then matching X offsets as the below row. So for the far right, it's 200, then 100, then zero, then negative 100. Now there's obviously one final app icon that remains to be set up, but this one is for the YouTube Creator Studio application, which is not supported with an icon from the drops icon pack. So as I've shown in past videos, the solution to that is to instead use the Delta icon pack. So once we've loaded in our image layer and we've navigated to the file browser, this time we'll select the Delta icon pack. We'll then search for and load in our icon of choice, in this case, the YouTube Studio Creator application icon. We'll tap that and then whilst we're still on this bitmap tab, we'll set the width to 42. Then we'll come over to the position tab, set the X offset to negative 200, the Y offset to negative 60. Then we'll finish the process as we did with all of the previous app icons. Now, before we get out of this widget, once I'm satisfied with how everything looks and functions, I'll then come back to the root layer and navigate over to the touch tab. Then I'll select this and delete it. With so many icons in such a little space, without this deleted, anytime I hit anything but the icons, I'll be presented with this KWGT edit page, which I don't want. All right, from there, we'll save our widget, come back to our home screen, and things are looking pretty good. But I've just realized that we're still yet to set up the touch functionality of this weather widget. So I'll tap on that, navigate over to the touch tab, then I'll select this option here, then the action drop down and change this to launch app. Then I'll select the app drop down menu and navigate down to the age old favorite frog weather shortcut application. All right, we'll save that, come back home and test it to make sure that it's working, which it is. Although it's kind of bugging me that this is still showing in Fahrenheit, even though we in Australia use the metric system. So I'll go back into KWGT, hit the menu icon here and then tap on settings. Then I'll tap on general settings and change the measurement units from automatic to metric. Not really too sure why automatic wasn't working. Anyway, I'll come back, save it to update it, then go back home and boom, there is our completed home screen setup. We can quickly test each of our app icons to make sure everything works as expected. And as you can see, the animations and gestures still work beautifully. We just don't get the expand from and to the app icon animation we'd otherwise get from using the stock icons, but this is a small price to pay in exchange for having a much more visually pleasing home screen setup to look at. And as mentioned, what I love about this setup is that it works with a huge range of wallpapers. Even some of the stock My UI wallpapers look fantastic with this setup. So in all honesty, this home screen setup is one that I can see myself using for a very long time. And there you have it. Now, the great thing about this home screen setup is that because it's just two KWGT widgets, you can recreate it super quickly on just about any launcher. 
The weather widget, as you saw, takes less than 60 seconds to set up. And then as for the app icons widget, once you've set it up once, you can then actually export this as a KWGT preset and load it in automatically, which will save you a bucket load of time anytime you're trying to set up a new phone. Now, what's cool is that this is actually a really handy way to essentially force your system launcher to have more grid sizing options than it allows for by default. And yes, you do lose out on app shortcuts, which I do miss a little bit, but again, I prefer to have home screen setup that I like the look of in exchange for having it function at about 95%. And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. Aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.